Hi, so today we'll be talking about sea urchin development. These are some of the tissues you should be familiar with. First, we got the ectoderm, which means the skin and the neurons. Second, we got the endoderm, which means the gut. And then we got the mesoderm, which means skeletal and muscle. Last, we got endomesoderm, which means the skeletal, muscle, Here we have a 64 cell stage blastula of a sea urchin. We have micromeres, veg 2, veg 1, and mesomeres. The mesomeres are the animal pole, veg 1, veg 2, and the micromeres, this is our uh, vegetal pole. Um, the micromeres, they make primary mesenchyme, which is skeletal tissue. The veg 2 cells make secondary mesenchyme, which is non-skeletal. Veg 1 makes ectoderm and endoderm, um, ectoderm being epithelial and neuron tissue, the endoderm being gut tissue. Um, the mesomeres that make just the ectoderm, which is epithelial and neuron tissue. Um, the micromeres have um, maternal factors, beta-catenin and disheveled present. And I noted that with this little green mark right here, that's actually present in all the micromeres down here. Um, and those um, play a role in the Wnt pathway, which is responsible for the signaling that goes up the cell. It's like a cascade of signaling that goes up the cells. And these micromeres, they're very important. They're known as the uh, the organizers of uh, the blastula, and they're, uh, they're responsible for that signaling. Um, there's also delta notch signaling that's present, and delta notch signaling is responsible for the micromere signaling to the VEG2 cells to not make primary mesenchyme. So that's why these guys are making secondary mesenchyme versus primary mesenchyme. Um, the VEG1 cells, um, there's also delta notch signaling and WNT signaling occurring between these cells that increases specificity and it's unknown but it's uh, believed that um, that same um, went pathway and delta notch occurs between VEG1 and the mesomeres. So to summarize, here are the different developmental pathways that occur under sea urchin development. Uh, so in the micromeres we have the maternal factors beta catenin and endoshovel which work in the WNT pathway um, between micromeres and VEG2. Um, we also have the delta notch pathway which works between the micromeres and VEG2, and the micromeres are, through the delta notch pathway, able to tell VEG2 not to make primary mesenchyme. Moving on, we have uh, occurrences between VEG2 and VEG1, and we have the WIN8 pathway, which allows the specificity to continue in, in the cascade of the development. And we also have the delta notch pathway, uh, which allows VEG2 to tell VEG1 to now make mesoderm. And then we have the pathway between VEG1 and the mesomeres, and we actually don't have enough information to know whether it's uh, with A or delta notch.